What's up everyone? It's Simon Coco and welcome back to my channel. Now I am so excited about today's video because we're doing a lookbook on one of my all time favorite movies ever, Hackers. Now it is the 25th anniversary of the release of Hackers so I thought it is the perfect opportunity to do a lookbook on this movie. It has to happen this year. So here it is. Like, I'm obsessed with this movie. I mean, I don't know if it's obvious or anything. One thing I'm really excited about is that this is my biggest lookbook I have ever done. Meaning that I tried to cover so many characters of the movie in this video. So there's a lot more outfits in this one than I have done in previous lookbooks. So make sure you watch to the end so you can see all of them. But anyway, enough talking. Let's just get straight to it. Now first off, we're going to be starting with Razor and Blade, the most fashionable media icons of the time. I really enjoyed recreating Razor and Blade's outfits, like they're just so iconic. And as soon as I put on the outfits, it just kind of made me feel a certain type of way. So I love that these outfits took me there. <music> So for Razor's outfit, I'm wearing this orange velvet Adidas jacket that I bought while I was in Japan. I paired that with these dark maroon velvet pants that I thrifted quite a while ago. I'm also wearing this purple furry scarf and some white furry leg warmers. Now Razor is wearing a gold belt that says Angel. I actually have this gold belt that's Moschino, so I thought that would be perfect for it. If you look closely, I'm also wearing these gold Playboy earrings, but I thought you probably couldn't see it too well, so I thought it'd be a good idea to loop in a gold Playboy necklace on the belt. Now for Razor's shoes, I'm wearing these suede and furry boots. Onto Blade's outfit. So to get this look, I am wearing a blue tight long sleeve turtleneck top, and on top of that, I am wearing these purple arm sleeves and blue furry cuffs. For the pants, I'm wearing these tiger slash zebra print flared pants. I don't know if these are tiger or zebra. They kind of look like both, but I'm wearing these pants that kind of look like his as well. For the shoes, I'm wearing these shiny patent leather boots. I think the two outfits together work so well and I just cannot get over these outfits. Next up, we're on to Serial Killer, as in Fruit Loops. Now I have to say the outfit that I picked for Serial Killer is probably the closest to my own personal fashion taste. So this one was really comfortable. Out of all the outfits that I did, this one felt like I was just dressed and just ready to go somewhere. So I really didn't see that when I first saw the movie, but when I put it on, I'm like, ah, oh, this is what I usually dress like. Now to get the look, I'm wearing this black and white contrast stitch long sleeve top. And on top of that, I'm wearing a blue mesh top that I've tucked in because it was actually a t-shirt. It's mesh and it has baby angels on it. Now for the pants, this one was a little bit more difficult because I had to wear two types of pants to get the look. I'm wearing black overalls underneath these black cyber dog pants. And the pants are also tucked into my big stomper boots. Now I can't forget accessories. So Serial Killer always has like a million things hanging off of his pants. So I put together three of my pant chains to try and get the look. I've also got my pager there and I am wearing the blue tiny little sunglasses. And of course the toothbrush. Now Serial Killer always walks around with a toothbrush. So I had to make sure that was part of the outfit. Now on to Lord Nikon. Now Nikon's outfit was gonna be a really hard one to do because he wears this jersey that is so 
epic and I could not find one for the life of me. I searched everywhere, couldn't find one. Now, luckily for me, during the 25th anniversary stream that Hackers Curator put together, I actually won a reproduction of the jersey. Throughout the stream, there were opportunities for the viewers to win prizes through trivia. And Roger Burton, costume designer, actually asked a question about the jersey and that was going to win the reproduction jersey that Hackers Curator have. And I won. I I'm so excited. So this made this outfit so much easier to do. Thank you, Hackers Curator, and thank you, Roger Burton. Now to get Lord Nikon's outfit, as you can see, I am wearing the reproduction jersey that Hackers Curator created. It is so perfect for the look, and honestly, I wouldn't have been able to do this look without it. I'm wearing tight leather black pants because Nikon sports these throughout the movie. However, the pants that he's wearing have these gold hardware detailing on them. So I threw on a gold chain to compensate. And once again, the pants are tucked into my big black stomper boots. I've got my pager at the ready and I've got my sunglasses as well. And you know I had to take an opportunity to steal some floppy disks from the police station. All up, I couldn't help but feel like such a badass in this outfit. Next up is Freak. The Phantom Freak. The King of Nine X. I know you play the game. No, no, no. Thank you. So to get Phantom Freak's outfit, I had to put a whole bunch of leopard prints together. Cause you know, he is the leopard boy. Now to get Phantom Freak's outfit, I am wearing a pink long sleeve mesh top underneath this leopard print coat. Yes, that is actually a long coat that I hemmed up with some duct tape that didn't want to ruin my coat. So I had to get a little creative. I think it turned out okay though. For the pants, I'm wearing obviously leopard print pants. And for shoes, I am wearing some platform Doc Martens. Now personally, I love leopard print, so this was a fun outfit to do. And I'm so glad there was multiple times of leopard print appearing in this movie. Next up is Joey, who just wants a handle and a righteous hack. Is that too much to ask for? Anyway, anyway, guys, 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 come on. Men's computer, right? Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Joey, Joey, Joey. <laughs> Okay, so for Joey's outfit, I'm wearing one that he wore at the very end of the movie. Now, the top that he's wearing, I'm not sure what brand that is, but the logo on it kind of reminded me of the logo for Cyberdog. So I'm wearing this Cyberdog t-shirt. I know it's not the same, but it kind of gave me the same kind of vibe. I'm also wearing these vintage beige dicky pants and some platform Doc Martens. For accessories, I've got the two cigarettes that he is smoking in Cyberdelia, and of course, the infamous yellow floppy disk. Up next, we've got The Plague, also known as Mr. Babbage at the end of the movie, but whatever you do, do not call him Eugene. Now the outfit that I've chosen for the plague is one that you see for a small glimpse as he passes Lord Nikon. Now to get the look I'm wearing a black long sleeve turtleneck top and on top of that I'm wearing a suit vest. Now I can't see in this scene if he's wearing a suit vest but he wears one in every other scene that he's in so I'm assuming that he was wearing one this day too. I'm also wearing a long black leather coat, some vintage black dicky pants 
and of course my black dot martens. I really enjoyed this outfit and I do appreciate the Plague's fashion sense. I think it's so perfect. Very put together, very dapper. I'm down for it. We are now on to Crash Override, aka Zero Cool. The one who has the infamous quote, mess with the best, die like the rest. Now, to get Crash Override's outfit, I am wearing this red plain t-shirt that I actually cut to make it into a crop tee. Now for the pants, I'm wearing these vintage green cargo pants. Now I know they don't look green, but they actually are for some reason, they're just not showing up on screen that way. They're actually really wide, so I had to clip them from behind to give them more of a straight cut. So I had to get a little bit creative with this one. I'm also wearing this red leg harness. Now I am so in love with this look and so in love with the fact that this red leg harness is part of it. It's just the perfect touch. And of course, I'm wearing my black Doc Martens and my pager at the ready. Last but certainly not least, we're on to Acid Burn. Now for Acid Burn, I'm actually going to be doing three different looks because I couldn't help myself. I, that's, that's the only reason I couldn't help myself. So the first outfit I'll be doing from Acid Burn is this iconic all white outfit that you see her wear at her house party. Now to get the look, I am wearing a big oversized white contrast stitch denim vest that I haven't done up, I've actually just crossed it over my body and cinched it in with a white belt. For the pants, I'm wearing these vintage Guess white denim jeans. They are so comfortable and so perfect for this look. Like the leg cut is really close to the original. Of course, I'm wearing my black Doc Martens as well. I love this outfit so much. I wish I knew what brand it was that the original that she's wearing, but I did my best to try and copy it. On to the second outfit. Now, you see Acid Burn wear this outfit in advanced English. Now, to get the look, I'm wearing this jersey from the New Jersey Devils ice hockey team. I actually bought this on Depop and the person that was selling it, they actually took up the shirt because it was too long for them. Super disappointed about that, but what can you do? I am also wearing these black tight stretch pants and my big black stomper boots. This outfit is actually super comfortable and I've worn this jersey quite a few times around the house. It's just so perfect and comfortable, I can't help it. to the last outfit and honestly super iconic and I'm glad we're ending on this. Now to get this look I am wearing a blue quicksilver rash guard. Now I was super surprised to see an Australian brand within the movie. I don't know I just wasn't expecting it but Acid Burn actually wears two different quicksilver rash guards within the movie so I had to do one of these looks. I am wearing the same black tight stretch pants that I was wearing in the previous outfit and my black boots. Hopefully one day I can get my hands on the iconic Suzuki TNT leathers jacket that she wears with this look as well so I can have the whole outfit down. I hope you enjoyed this lookbook. It is the longest I've ever spent working on a lookbook but I'm super proud of it and I'm really happy with how it turns out. So let me know down below if you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up too. And if you didn't enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up anyway because I ate candy 
and I modeled with a cigarette for this video. I don't like sweet things at all, I can't stand it. And I don't smoke, yet I committed to the character and I did that, I ate that candy. I held those cigarettes in my mouth. Oh, it was awful, but I was committed to the character. So you gotta give me some props for that. But anyway, if you haven't seen Hackers, go ahead and check it out. It's such an amazing movie on so many levels for so many reasons. And yeah, it's one of my all-time favorites. So I was really happy that I could do this video today. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. If you haven't already, check out my Instagram, my Depop, and my Twitch channel. That would be really awesome. But anyway, happy 25th anniversary, Hackers. The movie that has inspired so many of us out here. I hope you're having a good day, good night, good weekend, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.